This is the Nero three metre sit on top adult plus child kayak from Bay Sports. It's a great little entry level recreational kayak designed for either a solo paddler or an adult who wants to take out a child. It has a special grooved seat in front of the main paddler uh, where you can actually attach a kid's kayak seat. Uh, so you can take this out as a tandem uh, or a solo. It's a great little kayak being just three meters in length and makes it extra stable given that it's 80 centimeters wide. Extra wide, nice and stable with a flat hull shape. At its highest point at the back here, it reaches 40 centimetres uh, and weighs in at just 20 kilograms. The max weight capacity on this kayak is 180 kilograms in total. Starting at the front, you can see it's got a, a mould built-in grab handle. Moving down, you can see at the front of the kayak here, it's got a bit of a curve. Uh, looking from the side, you can see there's a bit of rocker or lift in the nose at the front. And it's got a bit of a flared bow, so it, any water that splashes up here uh, gets deflected back out of the water and not into the kayak. Having a bit of rocker in the nose also means that whilst this is great for rivers, lakes, estuaries for example, it can also be used in harbour um, and even a little bit of coastal kayaking where you need some deflection of the wave and boat wash. At the front of the kayak, there's a eight inch twist lock storage hatch. This hatch has a silicon rim around it to prevent water from getting through, although these are not completely waterproof, uh, they do a good job at uh, keeping out the water. It's got a removable inner bag, so you can stash your phone in a waterproof phone case, um, any other bits and pieces, snacks and sun cream for example. And being removable, it's on a nylon string, so you won't lose it. It also reveals then inner storage in the front part of the hull. As you can see, it goes all the way up to the nose, so you can put in you know, a sleeping bag or a camping tent in there, and it goes just about 10 centimetres back where it stops here. So the storage is from here right up into the nose. It's approximately 35 litres of volume in there. Closing the hatch, make sure you push down and then lock it to get a good seal. Around the edges, there is a drainage channel, so any water that splashes up over the kayak runs through these channels down here into the middle and that drains down into the scupper plugs here. Removing the scupper plugs reveals the drainage holes. You've got two at the front, two here, two underneath the seat so you're not sitting in a pool of water and then two in the rear storage area. So a total of eight scupper plugs and holes on this Nero kayak. In the front here, you've got a little storage part. You can put a little anchor in there or even a little water bottle. Uh, there's an actual water bottle holder here. It can hold like a small um, water bottle here. The middle part here has four brass screw inserts. That's for installing a fishing rod holder. So you can buy a fishing rod holder from Bay Sports and install it right there. You can also install it on the left and right hand side as well. Whilst these can be used for fish, fishing rod holders, uh, they're not exclusively, meaning you can put a whole range of different mounts on these. Um, if you want to have, say, a phone holder or you want to have a GPS holder, um, it's just a universal mount, so whatever you wish to install, you can. In the sides here, you've got your adjustable footrest system. It's a really simple uh, design just for you to push your feet against. To adjust, you simply push these little levers and slide to the position that's most comfortable for you. Simply release it, wiggle it, and it will lock in place. This just provides you back support to push your feet against for when you're paddling. As you can see uh, through these chain drainage channel lines here, any water that builds up in the kayak will drain backwards here, or from this point here will drain forward into here, down into here, and into these drainage holes. Being the adult plus child kayak, you can see there's already a bit of a molded groove here for the kid to sit. 
uh, can take a child probably up to around eight, maybe nine years of age would be about the max uh, age. Um, and as you can see, it's positioned a good 60 centimeters or so in front of the adult, uh, as so that you don't get in the way of the paddling style and hitting the kid on the back of the head. If you wish to install a uh, kid's backrest, we do sell them at Bay Sports. It's called the standard uh, kayak backrest. Uh, it's a oval shaped piece of foam that goes around like here and it attaches and clips on to the 2D rings which are pre-installed on the Nero kayak here. So that way the kid can have uh, a comfortable seat and also lean back. Uh, the kid's uh, legs can just run down the side here whilst your, the adult's feet run down the side and rest on here. Moving back in the kayak, uh, you can see it's fitted with our optional deluxe comfort seat, which is a really super comfortable, really thick padded foam seat. You can see it's very dense foam, so it really is quite comfortable when you sit on it. You won't feel the bottom of the kayak. Um, support all the way back up to your shoulders, so nice high back seat with side padding which hugs around your obliques when you sit back in it. So this will really give you much needed um, support, back support and comfort for hours of fun on the water. Moving to the sides, you'll see there's the built-in grab handles. Um, the benefit being carrying, very strong. Um, there's nice heaps of room in here for the person with the bigger hands to get a proper grip. And secondly, with molded in handles, they, don't, they can't break off. So um, very durable, very solid design. Directly located behind the seat is two fishing rod holders. If you wish to cast a line, you can put in some fishing rods uh, for some trolling. And secondly, if you don't fish, you can, they double up as a umbrella holder. So if you want to, in summer, keep the sun off you on those scorching days, you can put an umbrella in here and provide some shade for yourself. On the back, you've got a paddle holder. When you want to keep your hands free, you can slide your paddle just behind you, grab the bungee cord, and put it over the latch here. That'll keep the paddle nice and secure out of the kayak and without it flowing, floating away. We do recommend getting a paddle leash saver just to be safe, just to clip onto the kayak here in case any, if it does ever slip out or um, you decide you don't want to use this and would rather just throw the paddle into the water, uh, you can, it won't float away. Simply just pulling this up like so, grab the paddle and off you go. You've got quite a big, large, deep storage area here at the rear. Uh, you can put an esky or a, a large dry bag with your day's towels and snacks and food and whatnot in here. And the bungee cord on top here just keeps it secure so if you happen to tip this over, which is near impossible, um, everything stays nice and secure in there. Um, as we move to the back here, you've got a drain plug. So if any water enters the hull of the kayak from the front hatch, for example, uh, you can unscrew this, uh, lift the kayak from the front and tilt it down and the water will drain out the back. Just remember to always have it done up when you're out paddling. And if you're going to leave the kayak out in the sun, make sure you just loosen it so the hot air that expands can escape. Another built-in grab handle at the back. As you can see, the Nero has nice thick side walls in addition to its flat hull. The thick side walls adds good secondary stability. So when you're sitting out on the harbour where there might be some chop or swell, um, it stops the boat from rocking too much side to side. Secondly, you can see it from the front there's a V-shaped bow which slices through the water. That channels the water, once it enters the water, it runs the channels of water through these deep grooved hull lines all the way to the back, which greatly assists with the tracking of this kayak in a straight line. As you can see, the midsection here is very flat. From the side walls, it more or less is a flat hull all the way to the back and the front. And that's why this is one of the most stable kayaks for its size on the market. At the back, you can see the deep grooved hull lines run all the way and has this bit which stands out here. Again, this assists more or less with the tracking of the kayak.
which is its ability to paddle in a straight line. As you can see on the side, from the back, it curves up at the front. So as I mentioned before, it's great for taking out in the harbour where you might have a bit of boat splash. Um, it's designed to keep it a bit of a dry ride. So this is the Nero, um, a great little recreational fun kayak, um, nice and lightweight, um, excellent in the fact that it can allow you to take out your grandkids or your kids with you for a bit of fun time on the water. Um, or even enough room to have a dog if you want to take your dog who can sit up the front here or even in between your legs here. Nice, open, spacious cockpit. So it's very easy to get in, very easy to get out. Um, and it's, you know, it's one, one of our best-selling kayaks for uh, this price point.